Listen and practice. The love I never knew. Once upon a time, there was a young man named John who hated his father. His father was a stern and demanding man who never seemed to be happy with anything John did. John felt like his father was always criticizing him and never gave him any credit. One day, John decided that he had had enough. He packed his bags and left home, vowing never to speak to his father again. He moved to a new city and started a new life. John tried to forget about his father, but he couldn't. He kept thinking about all the times his father had made him feel bad about himself. He started to hate his father even more. One day, John got a call from his mother. She told him that his father had been in an accident and was in the hospital. John didn't want to go, but he knew he had to. When John saw his father in the hospital bed, he was shocked. His father looked so weak and frail. John realized that he had never really understood his father before. He had always been so focused on his own anger and resentment that he had never stopped to think about what his father might be going through. John sat by his father's bedside and held his hand. He told his father how much he loved him and how sorry he was for all the pain he had caused him. His father smiled and told John that he loved him too. John's father passed away a few days later. John was heartbroken, but he knew that he had finally made peace with his father. He realized that he had never really hated his father, he had just been afraid of him. John's story is a reminder that it's never too late to forgive someone, even if they are no longer alive. It's also a reminder that we should never take our loved ones for granted. We never know when they might be gone. Repeat after me. The love I never knew. The love I never knew. The love I never knew. Once upon a time, there was a young man named John who hated his father. Once upon a time, there was a young man named John who hated his father. Once upon a time, there was a young man named John who hated his father. His father was a stern and demanding man who never seemed to be happy with anything John did. His father was a stern and demanding man who never seemed to be happy with anything John did. His father was a stern and demanding man who never seemed to be happy with anything John did. John felt like his father was always criticizing him and never gave him any credit. John felt like his father was always criticizing him and never gave him any credit. John felt like his father was always criticizing him and never gave him any credit. One day, John decided that he had had enough. One day, John decided that he had had enough. One day, John decided that he had had enough. He packed his bags and left home, vowing never to speak to his father again. He moved to a new city and started a new life. He packed his bags and left home, vowing never to speak to his father again. He moved to a new city and started a new life. He packed his bags and left home, vowing never to speak to his father again. He moved to a new city and started a new life. 
John tried to forget about his father, but he couldn't. John tried to forget about his father, but he couldn't. John tried to forget about his father, but he couldn't. He kept thinking about all the times his father had made him feel bad about himself. He kept thinking about all the times his father had made him feel bad about himself. He kept thinking about all the times his father had made him feel bad about himself. He started to hate his father even more. He started to hate his father even more. He started to hate his father even more. One day, John got a call from his mother. One day, John got a call from his mother. One day, John got a call from his mother. She told him that his father had been in an accident and was in the hospital. John didn't want to go, but he knew he had to. She told him that his father had been in an accident and was in the hospital. John didn't want to go, but he knew he had to. She told him that his father had been in an accident and was in the hospital. John didn't want to go, but he knew he had to. When John saw his father in the hospital bed, he was shocked. When John saw his father in the hospital bed, he was shocked. When John saw his father in the hospital bed, he was shocked. His father looked so weak and frail. John realized that he had never really understood his father before. His father looked so weak and frail. John realized that he had never really understood his father before. His father looked so weak and frail. John realized that he had never really understood his father before. He had always been so focused on his own anger and resentment that he had never stopped to think about what his father might be going through. He had always been so focused on his own anger and resentment that he had never stopped to think about what his father might be going through. He had always been so focused on his own anger and resentment that he had never stopped to think about what his father might be going through. John sat by his father's bedside and held his hand. John sat by his father's bedside and held his hand. John sat by his father's bedside and held his hand. He told his father how much he loved him and how sorry he was for all the pain he had caused him. He told his father how much he loved him and how sorry he was for all the pain he had caused him. He told his father how much he loved him and how sorry he was for all the pain he had caused him. His father smiled and told John that he loved him too. His father smiled and told John that he loved him too. His father smiled and told John that he loved him too. John's father passed away a few days later. John was heartbroken, but he knew that he had finally made peace with his father. John's father passed away a few days later. John was heartbroken, but he knew that he had finally made peace with his father. John's father passed away a few days later. John was heartbroken, but he knew that he had finally made peace with his father. 
he realized that he had never really hated his father, he had just been afraid of him. He realized that he had never really hated his father, he had just been afraid of him. He realized that he had never really hated his father, he had just been afraid of him. John's story is a reminder that it's never too late to forgive someone, even if they are no longer alive. John's story is a reminder that it's never too late to forgive someone, even if they are no longer alive. John's story is a reminder that it's never too late to forgive someone, even if they are no longer alive. It's also a reminder that we should never take our loved ones for granted. We never know when they might be gone. It's also a reminder that we should never take our loved ones for granted. We never know when they might be gone. It's also a reminder that we should never take our loved ones for granted. We never know when they might be gone. Answer the question. 1. What was the main reason for John's resentment towards his father? A. His father's demanding nature. B. His father's constant praise. C. His father's absence from his life. D. His father's generosity. Two, how did John initially react when he received a call from his mother about his father's accident? A. He rushed to the hospital immediately. B. He refused to go see his father. C. He was indifferent and didn't respond. D. He decided to visit his father later. Three, what did John realize when he saw his father in the hospital bed? A. His father had become wealthier. B. His father looked weak and frail. C. His father had completely changed. D. His father was angry with him. Four, what did John say to his father while sitting by his bedside in the hospital? A. He expressed his hatred for his father. B. He told his father he was proud of him. C. He apologized and expressed his love. D. He asked his father for forgiveness. Five, what important lessons can be learned from John's story? A, it's never too late to hold on to resentment. B, we should take our loved ones for granted. C, forgiving someone is impossible after they pass away. D, forgiveness and appreciation should not be delayed.